this point. So we're going to go to the server edition and we're going to download the ISO uh, DVD right here, the ISO. Now it's actually not called Clonezilla, it's called DRBL or Diskless Remote Boot Linux. And we're not going to download the current version. We're actually going to go to the, uh, the mirror, the files archive on SourceForge. And we're going to download a previous version. Okay, uh, so that's loading there. Okay, so we're going to do DRBL Live Stable. And now we're going to click on 2477. And we're going to click on the AMD 64 ISO right down here. Okay, so that's going to start to download. Okay, we're going to go ahead and save the file, and that's going to take about two minutes to download. And we're also going to download this, what's called Rufus, right? So <laughs> it's a funny name, but Rufus is uh, the, the best uh, uh, way to write the image or USB. So we need two things. We need the, the image, the disk image, and then we need the program to actually write that disk image to our live USB. Okay, so we, uh, we've now got everything downloaded. Okay, we got our EXE for Rufus, we have our ISO that we're gonna burn, and we have our uh, USB in the computer. So we're gonna go ahead and execute Rufus. Now we, now we downloaded the portable version, um, which, uh, which is helpful because of the fact that if you're on a computer that you can't install things on, basically it allows you to, uh, to run the installation or run the version which is portable. Okay. So here it comes a little bit slower than uh, the installed version. Okay, so here we have it. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose multi-boot as the name of the USB. Yours will be different. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and um, we're just gonna go MBR for BIOS or UEFI. Uh, and then we're going to do FAT32, 16 kilobytes. So basically leave everything the same. We can call this Clonezilla. Okay, DRBL. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to choose, um, we're going to choose the image. Okay, so we're going to choose right here. We're going to go to downloads. We're going to click open. And we're going to go ahead and click start. Okay, we're going to write in ISO mode. We're going to click OK. Okay, so this is going to work for about, it'll take about five minutes. At the, at the end, you're going to have a bootable uh, Clonezilla, a uh, live USB of Clonezilla. And then you can go on from there. Uh, best of luck.